In my life, I have played hundreds of games and sunk thousands of hours into several of them. There has always been a franchise that I could never truly forget, no matter how much time I spent away from it. MechWarrior, or Battletech for the tabletop fans, is a lore that spans over a thousand years and is on par with the grimdark era of Warhammer 40k for sure. Factions of interstellar space nations duking it out with 100 ton battle mechs over literally any reason shy of your name sucks and I don't like you. I started playing MechWarrior 3 when I was just able to sit high enough on my family's computer chair and play with my dad's Microsoft Sidewinder joystick. I played the hell out of MechWarrior 3, but I had no idea until recently what the story was even about. The same thing happened with MechWarrior 4 and Mech Assault when I was growing up in the mid-2000s. I played the following games, but I really had no idea what the lore was about or what the story was even about, or just the general purpose of the mechs in general. I played the games, but I didn't have the ability to appreciate the lore and the amazing customization and optimization of hardened battle mechs that I'd come to love today. But that's not the video I'm making today. If you want to begin to understand the vast lore of Battletech, I highly suggest you check out Black Pants Legion on YouTube. I found this dude's videos and I've been listening to them in the car daily. And he talks about freaking the origins of mechs, talks about battles that are in the lore. Hell, he did videos that span from, you know, the break off in modern history, I think in 2020 of the lore, all the way to, what is it, 3140 towards the end of the Dark Age or beginning of the Dark Age, depending on where you place it in uh, the Battletech lore. The dude is a genius, knows a lot, and every video is actually super immersive because he uh, teaches it like he's like a like a mercenary teaching a class in the lore. It's, pre it's pretty awesome. Good dude. That all being said, I wanted to make the video about this game. It came out in December 2019. Pretty decent amount of time ago for me to be making a video about this game now, but honestly, I, I, I picked it up and I immediately put it down. Uh, it just didn't have a lot of stuff in it. It, it was based in, I think, 3015, 3014, that timeline. Um, oh, yeah, 3014, 3015. And it just didn't have much to do in the game. There was like the base story. It was the base level mechs. They were all inner sphere mechs, which if you guys don't know, um, long story short, a lot of the cool mechs that I grew up playing were from the clans in the other games. And this game had no clan mechs and none of the newer mechs. So you're using a bunch of really old mechs and there's very, very short little story. Not a huge differentiation in, you know, biomes, missions, because every mission of the game was procedurally generated and still is, but I'll get to why that got improved. And the game is kind of risen like a phoenix in my heart because the game has improved a lot. And it's mostly thanks to the community creators in the game. Now, the developers, Piranha Games, did actually add some pretty solid, sweet DLC to the game. Um, Legends of the Kestrel Lancers is one, and off the top of my head, I'm trying to remember the other one. I'll show it on the screen or something right now. Um, Heroes of the Inner Sphere, that's the one. And, dude, yeah, it it's done a complete 180 in my brain. And I took a break from playing MechWarrior Online and started playing MechWarrior 5, and now I'm, I'm having to force myself to get back on it. It's an awesome awesome game if you play it the right way especially co-op which you guys if you guys didn't know it's got co-op in it which is dope it's awesome to play with a buddy you got to have mods that are similar which is going to help me get into my next point which is talking about the modding community of this game now the modding community has done some spectacular things with this game i am running at least 20 mods concurrently to make the game everything i want but it is worth it the biggest mod that i've been using that i want to point out is the clan invasion mod. This game has gotten 20 times better with this mod. Now it is still in the beta phase. So it is gonna have a couple mechs that are a little low poly. It's gonna have some mechs that have interiors that are basically solid white because they're still working on them. But a lot of the core mechs like the you know Timberwolf or the Mad Cat, like we're, uh, you know, Inner Sphere, we're gonna call it the Mad Cat. You've got the Vulture or the Mad Dog. Um, you got a lot of mechs like those that are either they're straight up just ripped from Mech Warrior Online or whoever's making this mod just redid them all from the ground up. But they are beautiful mechs. Um, if you guys don't know in the Mech Warrior lore, uh, the clans didn't invade until the year, I think it was 3049. Don't crucify me in the comments if I'm off by a year or two. But I think it was 3049 they invaded. 
and they had all these mechs that the Inner Sphere had never seen before, or they saw them a very, very long time ago, and they're just now reappearing, and they are amazing. They're awesome mechs. They're fast. They're brutal. They got some hard-hitting weapons, and you can do some damage. And they also just look beautiful. If you guys don't know, the a lot of the co the common symbol uh, of Mech Warrior usually used, I think it was even in the Mech Warrior Three logo, was the Timberwolf, or once again the Mad Cat. That's like the staple of the series, and it was lacking from the game when it first came out. But now with this mod, it brings it back, and it is amazing to be playing with these mechs. Like I said. I know I sound weird just saying because of a couple different mechs, I got into this game and my review is 180, but I'm telling you, it makes that much of a difference. These mechs are freaking fun to play with and they're awesome. It's fun. And if this is the first time you've ever seen anything Battletech related or Mech Warrior or anything, uh, everybody's welcome to get into this. Everybody is. I've tried to introduce my friends. They've got a little bit into it. Big War Thunder friends I got, a lot of couple Titanfall friends, kind of just smash them together, you know, Titanfall. War Thunder, you name it. It's kind of similar with the mechs and kind of the more simulation type stomping around in a in a big giant walking tank. Uh, they enjoyed it. They really did. They didn't get as into it as I have, but once again, I kind of grew up with the game for like 26 years so far. Uh, so I'm a little bit more attached to it than they are. It's it's just crazy to to see generations like that. And I, I want to try to get the younger generations, you know, integrated into this game series because it's been going for a really long time. I think the, the tabletop started in the 80s and i really want it to stay alive and keep going and i hope you guys want to check it out one day and so yeah but uh if you enjoyed the video today feel free to leave a like comment subscribe super like right swipe all that good stuff and if you want to see more mech warrior 5 or just mech warrior content in general feel free to let me know in the comments i always read all of them all five of them every time but uh Either way, I, I appreciate you guys giving comments, good or bad, because it helps me out, helps me learn, get better at the YouTube stuff. And I just enjoy doing it on the side and talking to people about stuff that I like to talk about. So either way, I appreciate you guys. And as always, I will see you in the next one.